too often I see people want to think of St. Matthew's very Jewish, uh, uh, the Gospel of John very, very, very Jewish. And then the Gospel of Luke, eh, it's more for the Gentiles. Uh, I think that's a, and, and I'm kind of straw manning things here, but I think that's too simplistic of a reading. I think St. Luke is trying to depict Christ as the Messiah, Christ as the Savior, and he's doing it through Scripture, but he's doing it in ways that are very, very different from what, from what Matthew's doing. Matthew's looking to explicit Messianic texts. Luke is looking to 1 Samuel with regards to the role of, of St. John the Forerunner. He is the Samuel to Christ's David. The two match up perfectly. Here, what is Zechariah? What's his song? Well, the, the, the person for whom my son will be that prophet is going to be the one who goes and harrows Hades. He's going to be the one who destroys, ultimately what that means is, the one who destroys death. And I think he wants to push on this because I think he wants to give you the fullness of the gospel even here very early on in the gospel of, of Luke. And we'll see a continuation of the pushing of this with regards to, we'll go through the Annunciation, most certainly. Like, what does that even mean in the, in the ancient world? How does it respond to certain mythologies that are there in the ancient world? Um, um, we'll take a look at, you know, what does it even mean uh, to have a census here instead of the instead of the three wise men the angels come to shepherds oh i think that has a lot to do with the davidic story david was the shepherd through in other words i think i think the i think luke is very very sensitive to the david story and i think he's very sensitive to christ as messiah in ways in which i don't know that matthew is focusing on 